This section is to show removing the sensor from the sample line and filling the membrane cap with electrolyte. So we're going to be sure that we don't have flow in our sample line. Loosen the compression fitting holding the sensor in place. Remove the sensor from its sample cell. Remove the membrane cap. I'm just going to place that there for the time being. Now this particular sensor has a very water-like electrolyte. We're going to fill that cap full. Be sure that there are no air bubbles down where the membrane is inside of the cap. Thread that cap back onto the sensor. Place the sensor back into its sample cell and tighten our compression fitting back in place. We can now start flow in the sample line. After we've changed the electrolyte or if we first installed the electrolyte, it takes several hours to get a true reading before we want to do our calibration. Some of our sensors have electrolyte that is a bit more viscous. So to change or to add the electrolyte in that, Again, we're going to remove that cap. We're going to fill that cap with electrolyte. Here you can see how much thicker the electrolyte is. We want to fill it again so there's no air bubbles. If there is an air bubble, that air bubble will migrate towards the top in time. We'll let that come to the top. Never put a screwdriver or any other instrument into the electrolyte. If you want to try to help remove the air bubble, use the sensor tip itself. We'll now thread that sensor back on. You'll see that the electrolyte will come out. Then we will want to wipe that electrolyte. Never wipe across the membrane itself. Now we can put this sensor into flow. It tends that the electrolytes take a little bit longer to energize. So you'll have to wait a little bit longer to do your calibration.